Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a review of the not so brand new line of Shimano Corrado rods. Let's get into it. So back in 2021, Shimano released their updated version of the Shimano Corrado line. They've been on the market for almost a year now and I was a little late to the party getting my hands on them, but for the past two or three months, I've been able to use four of the models and that is the seven foot medium spinning and for casting the seven foot medium heavy the 7.2 medium and the 7.2 heavy. I feel I'm comfortable enough and I've kind of have enough experience with them now to be able to give you guys some valuable information and tell you about my experiences with them. So before we get into the specifics and my experience with each individual model of rod, I kind of want to talk about the features of the Corrado line as a whole before I dive into each individual model. So the Shimano Corrado starts at 160 bucks and goes up to 190, depending on the model that you get. Now this kind of lands them in a Goldilocks zone for me in that you're really getting a great value when you spend between 150 to 250 bucks on a rod. Uh, the jump from $100 to $200 might seem like a lot, but once you hold a $200 rod in your hand and you feel what your money gets you, you'll be blown away at how much different and how much better it feels than a $100 rod. They're lighter weight, they're more sensitive, they're put together just better. Not that there's anything wrong with a $100 rod, there's not, I've used plenty. I've used the Shimano SLX, I've used uh, the Dobbins Colt, I love the Dobbins Colt. Uh, I use the Dobbins Fury. Trust me, I've used plenty of $100 rods and caught plenty of fish on them, but once you make that jump to 200 bucks, you, it changes you, it does. A little bit about the Corrado line. So I've tried to do a bunch of research on the Corrado line just to see uh, what I could find, detail specifics online and there's not really much directly from Shimano. However, I've heard from a person that I trust deeply that the Shimano Corrado has the same blank as the Shimano Zodius, just with cheaper guides and a little bit different uh, components. So what that means is that you are getting the same quality blank as the Zodius, as far as sensitivity and weight goes. Now I'll show you here, this is the seven foot medium heavy that I'm picking up. Um, it has the same wrapping as the Shimano Zodius. You can see that there. This is unfinished, so you run your hands over it, it's rough. This is glossy, there's some sort of finish over it. Um, that's not the case on the Zodius. The whole thing is finished on the Zodius. So, you know, they did cut some corners a little bit to bring the price down here, but it's not noticeable. When are you, when are you ever gonna hold your rod from up here? You're not. Don't know the specific guides that they use, but they are different than on the Zodius. Then down here, you are getting a split grip EVA foam handle, whereas on the Zodius, they have the famous monocoque handle. As far as that, you know, different locking nut, but it's the same real seat, there's really not too, too much of a difference. Now the Shimano Zodius starts at $210, so on average, you're gonna be spending $50 more on the Zodius than you are on the Corrado. So if you're okay with sacrificing, you know, the unfinished blank, the monocoque handle, um, which admittedly does add some sensitivity to the Zodius, uh, just because it transmits vibration better, it's just gonna be a little more sensitive. If you're okay with sacrificing those things, the Shimano Corrado is a fantastic rod and it'll save you 50 bucks. For two Zodius, you could get three Corrados. So that's wrong. I think what I meant to say is for three Zodius, you can get four Corrados. Apparently, Mitchie's been out of school for a little too long. So that's something to think about. All right, so why don't I start talking about each individual model? I'm gonna try and give it like a minute or two per rod here. So this is the seven foot medium heavy, starts at 160 bucks. On that, I have the Shimano SLX with 30 pound braid and a 15 pound leader. I was using this mostly to fish uh, finesse jigs around docks. Um, but I did throw shaky heads and uh, Texas rigs on this also, and it throws those perfectly. Um, the seven foot medium heavy is kind of the do anything all around, jack of all trades casting rod. So if you're looking for your first rod, this is a fantastic option. It is uh, definitely one that I would not hesitate to buy, especially because you know, you're getting such a good value with that Zodius blank um, without having to spend 210 bucks, you can spend 160, save 50 bucks, 
and get yourself a solid combo, especially with the $100 SLX here. You've got a solid, solid fishing rod and reel here, folks. So I'll show you where it balances. Balance is right here, like a half an inch, quarter inch in front of the lock and nut. It feels great. It's super lightweight. When I weighed it, it came in at 4.2 ounces, which is basically right what the Zodius weighs. I think the Zodius is 4.1 or 4.2, so um, kind of right on the money. Uh, fantastic value. If you're looking for your first rod, or if you're looking to upgrade to a, a nicer do-anything rod, I'd strongly consider the seven foot medium heavy Corrado. Uh, next, why don't I go to the other seven foot rod, which is the seven foot medium spinning rod. And on here, I have the Shimano Nasky, the old model, with 15 pound braid to a 10 pound leader. And again, this is kind of the do anything spinning rod. This comes in at 160 bucks also, and I'll show you where it balances. It basically balances literally right at the locking nut, which is great. Basically right where you hold it, right there, is where it balances. Um, this rod came in at 3.6 ounces. Again, jack of all trades uh, spinning combo here. If you could only have two fishing rods and you're on a budget, these two Corrado rods, the seven foot medium heavy and the seven foot medium spinning will do so much for you. This rod, you could do weightless Texas rigs, fantastic Senko rod. Um, you could throw light shaky heads, Nico rigs, drop shot. Uh, I was even throwing an eighth ounce uh, ball jig head with a little two inch swim bait fishing for crappie. Um, and I happened to hook into a bass and it handled it totally fine. So like I said, if you're looking for a one, two punch right here, with these two rods, you could do almost anything you need to do. So on to both of kind of my favorite rods out of these four. This is the 7.2 Heavy. Now, I love fishing jigs, um, all kinds of jigs, swim jigs, football heads, flipping jigs, finesse jigs. I'll fish them all. This rod just kind of excels at jig fishing, in my opinion. Uh, the 7.2 Heavy is known in the Shimano line to be a, a fantastic jig rod, and I actually have the 7.2 Heavy Poison Adrena. This rod kind of blew me away as soon as I held it. It feels like you're holding a rod that is twice as expensive as this is. And I say that because it feels very, very similar to the Poison Adrena, which is twice as expensive as this is. So on here, I have the Shimano Cronarch, which is my favorite Shimano uh, casting reel, and that has 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon on it. I'll show you where it balances. It balances about a half inch in front of that locking nut, so again, on par with the other rods. And it actually weighs in at 4.3 ounces, which is insane. The Poison Adrena weighs 4.2 ounces, so this is a tenth of an ounce heavier and about half the price, which is just incredible. Speaking of price, this rod comes in at $170, um, so $10 more than the base price for the Shimano Corrado, but totally worth it. Uh, just the other day, I was fishing rock piles with a three quarter ounce jig and a Missile Baits D-Bomb trailer, so it's a hefty jig, and this was handling it no problem at all. Just feels great in the hand, completely balanced, very lightweight. Again, it's the Zodius Blank. It's fairly sensitive. I'd say one to 10. These are probably a six or a seven, which might not sound great, but if the, if a 10 is like a 600 or $700 uh, NRX, then this is probably a six or maybe a seven. But that's really impressive for a $170 rod. I don't want to say it's soft. It's definitely a fast action, but it loads really well. Uh, it's not a broomstick by any means. When you think of a you know 7.2, heavy, you might think of a broomstick. This is not that. Such a great action for a jig rod. Again, this is one of my favorite rods that I tested out here. I would say that it actually is. Out of these four, this is my favorite. So if you're thinking about picking up a jig rod, the Shimano Corrado is incredibly impressive. What a great rod. Next, and finally, last but not least, we have the 7.2 medium casting rod. And I'd say that this is probably my second favorite 
Um, not that there's anything wrong with the other two rods here, but these two are just different. Uh, they gave me an experience that other rods kind of haven't in the past. So on here, I have the Shimano SLX MGL with 10, uh, I'm sorry, 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon, and I'll show you where it balances. Basically right at the locking nut. And this rod weighs in at 4.2 ounces. You see the trend? These rods are very lightweight and balanced incredibly well. They feel great in the hand, and the same goes for the 7.2 medium. So this rod is very cool. I was using it mostly for moving baits. Uh, one thing that I noticed right away is that it's very crisp. It's it's definitely got a faster action to it. I would say this rod excels at throwing things like the Dark Sleeper, Kytex, Underspins. Just a great moving bait rod. Um, but again, I'd have no reserve throwing flukes, um, finesse jigs, things like that. So definitely a cool rod to have to the arsenal, especially because it's not that much money. This rod is also $170. So again, 10 bucks more than the base price, but I'd say it's a very cool rod. One that I definitely consider keeping for sure. Um, and I guess that is going to wrap it up for the individual rods. The Shimano Corrado is a rod that I would be more than happy fishing. If I had to get rid of all of my rods, if I had to sell off all my expensive stuff, um, I would definitely consider having a collection of Corrados just because they're such a fantastic value. I'm a giant fan of the Zodius and the fact that the Corrado shares a lot of the same technology as the Zodius, just an amazing value and I'm a huge value guy. If I could spend less money and get the same results or similar results, uh, that's something that I like a lot and I know that's something that you guys like a lot. So if you want any of the rods that you saw in today's video or even if you're considering buying any gear in general, make sure you check out American Legacy Fishing and look at that used page as well because you could get yourself some crazy deals. American Legacy Fishing is one of the best online retailers for fishing gear that I've ever encountered. They are amazing people and some of the best customer service. I'm not just saying that because I'm wearing the shirt. I'm wearing the shirt because I believe what I'm saying. Um, just amazing people, so make sure you check them out. Okay guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you liked it and you want to see more review videos coming up, if you want to see fishing videos, make sure you like and subscribe. As always, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next video.